Okay, so now let's talk about customer lifetime value. So how often should you track customer lifetime value? Monthly is probably best, um, but you know, don't, don't wait around. The times where you should track it more often than monthly are situations where your churn rate goes up really, really fast, or your AOV goes down really fast. So you wanna know if your LTV is getting worse that how much you can continue to spend on marketing. So here's how you track the customer lifetime value. So we have our churn rate. So the customer lifetime value represents the total gross profit you make from one customer over their entire relationship with your, com with your company. And so you need to figure out how many months they're gonna be a customer, how much they're gonna spend per month, how, much, how profitable is that revenue stream, and then uh, how much is all of that gross profit added up. So let's look at this. So first off, 3% churn rate, 3.1% churn rate. Basically, how you figure out what the customer lifetime is, is you take one divided by the churn rate. It's a mathematical shortcut. And it'll tell you that the average customer who churns at 3.1% a month is going to have a 32-month lifetime. And then in April, we're saying that the churn rate went down slightly. So the average customer... Um, in this cohort, it's going to have a 33% customer lifetime. So the AOV per month, well, we know what customers are spending because we have our MRR divided by total customers. And so we're saying in April, our AOV is going up, driven by that expansion revenue. Then your lifetime revenue is total months times revenue per month. So 49K versus 41 Gross margin we can get from our financials, which we have down below. So we have our total gross profit divided by revenue. That's your, your gross profit margin, 88% versus 87%. So we're saying our total lifetime revenue times the gross profit margin is um, basically your customer lifetime value. We're saying 44,000 and it looks like that's up month over month in terms of our estimate. Okay, so what can we say? We can say continued expansion revenue and reduced churn have increased our LTV estimates significantly based on April metrics. Our um, LTV we project to be 43,889. Um, which is 21% higher than our March uh, projections. Okay, so very strong here. Okay, CAC and LTV ratio. So this is how much profit you make off one customer, but you are going to be uh, needing to invest a bunch of money in the acquisition of that customer in the beginning. So you wanna have to acquire basically a fraction of what you'll make back in LTV. So you don't want your customer acquisition cost to be too high, but you also do need to understand how much do you spend in marketing versus how much do you make back in profit on that customer. And so that's what we're going to look at here. So 